Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Grand Cat. Oh my goodness, I just noticed. No, okay, no, we're fine. Yeah. Uh, I am the Grand Cat. I am Sonia, the Maine Coon Fighter. Uh, I am joined by the Edge Barnabas mm -hmm. and Verdante, the big forest druid cat. Mon. And we have a big boss man that is doing the D and D animal adventure. This is part two of this scenario, and in the last video we just walked through a door. So um, I believe it was Barnabas that walked in first. He just barged in, even, even though I, I, I was um, against the idea, and I have followed in at the back here. So yeah, that's as we have now entered into the room. Mm -hmm. Also, this part here, this part of the map, is not in use, so uh, this is why we have the, the dice box over here. Uh, I'm on 20 health, uh, Barnabas is on 26, and uh, Verdante is on 24. Yeah. Okay, good. So. Big boss man is just about to tell us what's going on in this room. Okay, uh, the first thing that strikes you when you enter this room is the temperature is freezing cold. Mm. I've got a I'm fluffy cold. A chill mist hangs a foot above the floor, leaving droplets of ice in the character spot. Oh! Uh, the floor of the chamber is entirely obscured by this mist. Um, heavy chains hang from the ceiling which hold four large wooden tables aloft, each at varying heights. The highest is the first two. This is the first table here located to your left. Mm -hmm. So the tables are hanging from the ceiling? Mm -hmm. By chains. Mm, weird. And they high up. Yeah, this is your second table. Mm -hmm. This is your third table and your fourth table. I think we should jump up on the table to get away from this. Uh, more, copper, more copper cables run from each of these tables to a single huge orb. Which is isolated at the center of the room. Oh. Alright, last time there was an orb that said we wanted to destroy it and you guys were against it. This time you said I you were going to destroy it. I said right, I'm going to destroy it. Well, you then went nah. big, big cat, you are you have the teal whip thing, you are going to the yeah. main whip, you're going to destroy that orb. Fine, I won't slap the orb. Good. Uh, running off these tables are a series of thick copper cables stretching down to the orb. Almost identical to the ones on the walls in the previous chamber, substantially larger. Oh, is that the cables cool? are plugged into the base of this wall. Okay, so we destroy the orb, and then the things that are plugged into it should be dead. That would make sense. Right. So you've noticed when you've entered the icy chill, basically all your movement means have now been halved. Mm. That's cold in here. So basically. what you're saying, boss man, is that these things are Borg, and this is the thing that's powering them up. Yep. <laughs> and basically now, any dexterity saves you're going to make while you're on the floor are now done at disadvantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's because it's freezing in here. I told you it was a bad idea to walk through this door, guys. Why didn't you just stick it's your crossbow through the left? It was the only door. <laughs> But also this door has not been opened in a long time, so everything down here has okay. been here for a very long time. So what do you want to do in this little room? Nice. So, jumps. presumably the zombies have not yet noticed this. Um, are, are the zombies active? Are they lying on the they, tables? Or you can't they? tell because you can't see. Oh, okay, we, we just know that they're there. Can I... can we see the orb? Yeah. Office or yes? yes? Can we see if the mist is coming from the orb? You don't believe the mist at all is coming from the floor. It's okay, just so the mist is just their natural, is a natural mist. Hmm. Um, Do we get rid of it all? Well, considering the last one's exploded, maybe you should take care of it from a distance. Yeah. How, um, how far are we from the orb? Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So, so you could get a non combat rounds now. I will move five feet forward. Is it? Five feet should be able to do it from because it's thirty feet, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Uh, yep, yeah, thirty feet range. Okay, so like you'll get the, the tail end of the whip with this one. So yeah, I'm five feet forward. Okay, so, 
And use foam whip on the big orb. Is it here or is it here? Where is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you, you, you need to be moved yeah. forward or along there. Yeah, the then. I'm trying to say it's kind of from the centre of one square to the centre of the next one. So you've got five feet left. It's the way to do it. Yeah, yes, so I've got five feet left. So, so or alternatively, one, you could, two, you three, could just go four, one, two, five, and then six. hit the, the orb from there. So yeah, that you're directly that When he moves into the room, does anything happen? Yeah, nothing happens in there. Great, go for it. It's time to hit that orb. Whip it. Whip it real good. It's a six. Ten. Ten. Um, the whip does nothing to the orb. Mm. We, re- we realise from this that no magical attacks need to do any damage to it. Oh, dag no. no magical attacks. Yep. Oh. And, well, it's not easy to run up to that thing because of the frozen wasteland. I'm just going to take no, just walk. to get up a bit longer, but you can dash. combat rounds in there. I guess. So I'll use my no. dash. Do you want me to approach it? You do <coughs> have the most And the highest armor class. Yeah. But it probably, like, the orb won't do anything based on the armor class, but I'll be the one, like, foremost in the room. So anything that targets me. Should we stick together or should we spread? Uh, spread out seems. Well. Is flanking still a thing? No, we'll of... get rid of flanking. Are we getting rid of flanking? Flanking is good enough? Yeah, I think we're all good. I can't agree, it's, it's yeah. too strong. Um, Basically, you can investigate the orb, you can investigate the table if you don't really know what's Sure, I'll, I'll go up to the orb and the. You want to go up to it? I mean. Do you not want me to go up to it? I would both go up together. And like. Should we all just like team attack it? What, the orb? What does yeah? A orb ball. explodes and then like just takes us all out. That'd be bad. It would. We'll deal with it if that happens. Okay, fine. Wait, can I we see that thing in the corner of the room though? The door. Oh, this, this is the door. No, the door. That's the door. Yeah. Well, that's not. Why don't we just use you the said door? Cable but just, just right? leave. Yeah. yeah just like, like don't even like, like don't, don't even participate in this, in this room. I just, mean, like nothing um, tries to attack us. Yeah. Well. Uh, I could approach it and try and cut the cables rather than attacking the orb itself. Would that not electrocute you? Probably not. It's good to so. Well, I mean, the sword's metal and the handle isn't. Hmm, so it wouldn't electrocute you? Hopefully not. Hmm. Do you think that this is the orb that's given power to the, the four orbs that were the, or the, the six orbs in the previous room? So there was like no point in destroying them because all we need to do is take care of this one damn thing? Maybe. Or maybe it's the other way around. What, the, those orbs were powered in this one? Like, well, this is the room that hasn't been opened in like years because mm. the door's all rusted shut and stuff. So. Which means that any of the maintenance teams that come around would just go to the outside and not the inside. <laughs> do, do necromancers have maintenance teams? I don't know, do they have like unions? Uh, uh, well, I mean, they, they have I mean, that's what they call cults. Oh, we're getting off topic here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, approach the orb and I'm gonna try and cut the wires. Okay, well I'll I'll come with you then. The I'm gonna approach the orb first. Okay, I, I, I'm I'm staying a distance back. What about you, big dog? Um, yeah. is there anything like special about the walls? Do the walls look weird in any way, shape, or form? No, they just like regular walls. Well, I think it's freezing, so I think we should get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. Thank ah, you. so you use the door, and you're like, why should we skip the room? So well, one of us is going to approach the floor. I am. But where about you, big dog? I'll just stay where I am. Okay. Right. You cold, lazy cat. Uh, it's cold. Uh, yeah, and sure everyone is. make a DC fourteen wisdom perception check for me. Oh. I'm good at perception. Oh wait, that's a default. I don't have a D14. I don't make a D14. Oh, it's a DC14. Yeah, um, I got a 10 with wisdom. It's a 10. Is... Yeah, I got a 10. Wisdom is... Your perception is 3. So 13. Ah, 30. Mm. It's a 13. Plus 4. So it's 17. <laughs> 17, 13, and 2. Wow, well, why not you not very good at looking at that? I'm not. Can I'm very perceptive. Okay, for Dandy, do you notice when Bannon's Mr. approached this orb, 
on the four tables, there was a zombie on each one start to rise. The zombies are rising. I don't think it's a good idea to get closer to They're the water. Alive. Zombies? They're zombies. alive! Zombies. Ah, on the tables. On the tables, there'd be zombies rising. Okay. So basically, once they put the prison, they basically all pull off the tables. So they're all on the Move table. away <laughs> from the orb. <laughs> have, have they actually fallen off now? Yep. Yeah. So. Time for There's time for your initiative, boys. Uh, 17. Ooh. That's plenty. 12 plus. Two, two, 14. Four. Seventeen, fourteen, five. Oh. Man, you guys have a It's cold. <laughs> just going to sleep. <laughs> oh, I'm actually. I never got sleep back then. You guys got there for your rest. I'm taking my night. Yeah, we're Good rest. night. <laughs> <laughs> we're just like now with your bed in the corner and we'll just clean them up. Alright, so we just book it and leave them right <laughs> While he's sleeping, <laughs> just like run to the door and leave. Is the door open or close? Okay, Barnabas, you're flushed. Great. Okay. okay, plan of action. I'm thinking... I know what I want to do. Do that. But I'm thinking we book it to the top left corner. Top left? Yeah. Where I am? Yeah, um, well, top left from my perspective. Yeah. Um, it's going to take ages because our movement speed's halved. Yeah. But what it would mean is that I can tank the bottom two. Will you guys take care of the, the top two? I have a better and much more hilarious idea. What's that? Oh. Uh, I, I kind of want to wait until my turn because I'm pretty sure that it's awesome. Right, so I'll, in that case, I'm going to temporarily go through with my plan and I'm going to move one, two. Yep, put you next to zombie. And I'm gonna stand in that zombie. Yep. Uh, that's a 14. Hits. Ooh. D10. Uh, where are we? Did you got a D10? Yeah. Perfect. That's a six, so 11. 11. Against zombie three. 11 damage. Perfect. So I'm missing a bit of shit that's still standing right now. Great. Sonia, it is now your turn. Oh my god! Yes! This is it! This is where it's going to be amazing, guys! Alright, uh, what's my dexterity? Plus one? The dexterity yes. is plus one. Yep. And my movement is 15. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to run and jump up onto the table. Um, yeah. Um, absolutely. That is absolutely happening. I'm using my dexterity. Yep. Uh, six plus one seven. What would that yeah. be like acrobatics? Would it? Yeah, give him that. Do I have acrobatics? Oh, yes. that's athletics? Uh, it's just plus two. Yeah. If you wanted to go on that, you go up to DC 14 dexterity check. DC 14. 
Okay, so uh, I don't think. But you did not pass there. Yeah, no. I hold seven. So you've okay, tried so to go on, but you can't form can't a little reach. line on the ground. No, okay. Okay. So. No. Twenty. Uh, was, was that my action, or was that just moving? No, you just tried. Oh, okay. So I can still attack the Soviets here? Uh, I think you, did you say you fell down? No, you fell down. So sign up first, it takes half your movement, which is fine. How many moves okay. did it take? Um, you moved uh, one, two, three. So then he's tried to climb up onto the table and he's failed to climb up to the table. So has he fallen thrown or is he just or still. Yeah, uh, 15. Well, I mean, I was here. One, two, oh, ten. Move ten. So, yeah, you're fine. You stand up and you've got two feet of movement left. Okay. Can I climb off the table again? I don't believe two feet is going to cut it. <laughs> no. Because I use a section feet. surge. Um, That'd be a waste. You don't need to just know. No, but it would be great. But yeah. Yeah? No, don't, don't. No, I should. Don't. I will. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. I suggest you don't. Do you have an action search? I'm going to action search. Okay. I mean, actually, you yeah, haven't actions. used your action yet, so you could use your action to dash to get the movement to get up there. Will it allow me to get onto the table? Uh, if you pass the check. What is the check? DC. 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 Okay, then I'm going to do that then. And yeah. not use action search. Okay, no action search? Uh, no, apparently So not. your action is to dash? Yeah. In that case, you went to 30, down to 20, and now you've got 10. Well, Which, I'm right beside the table. So yeah. Yeah, it should be enough to get up, right? It was six feet in there? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was like large enough that we couldn't see the zombies. Yeah. yeah. Alright, but uh, you still need to make a DC, DC 14 with dexterity check. Nah, uh, man. So it's dexterity? Yeah. Yep. yep, okay. Yeah! No! <laughs> it's only an eight. You fumble again, like yeah, back onto the ground, you go. Yeah. Alright, so you've got uh, 10 feet of movement left in your prone. Mm -hmm. What? Well, can I not stand? Yeah. You you're can, prone. it takes half your movement. Five. Okay, well, I'm stunned. So you're fine left. Okay, can I jump back into you? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's six feet in there. So you're one one short. Uh, yep. It's eight feet in there. Eight feet. Yeah. Uh, then you're even more short. <laughs> um, okay, so can I still attack or Yep. Um you if you if you action search, yes. Can you use your action to dash? Oh I see. I see. Okay, well in that case I shouldn't. Wait, if I use my action search, can I try and jump back on the table? No. Yeah. I can. No, Quite what? Push right. Only five left. Five feet left. What? If he dashes again, I'll go up to ten. Well, I'm enjoying it. What if he uses action surge and dashes Dash, again? Yes. To jump up onto the table? What's the end game here? Yeah. Why are we jumping up on the table? Because the zombies will be able to get me and I'll be able to reach down at them with the rapier, which means I'll be invincible for this entire but fight. It's eight feet, you your range is five feet. Yeah. Yeah, which means like I'm attacking, like, like the zombies are not less than three feet tall. They're, they're less than three feet they could tall. Be. Are they less they're than cats. three feet tall? I would say they're more like four feet tall. Mm. Yeah, see? So I can strike them, they can't can strike me. And there's the no way that a zombie is jumping up onto this table because it fell off. It doesn't even have the finesse to it like. It's grouchy, it just woke up. Yeah, yeah but it's not going to jump like up onto the table. Don't know that. It wouldn't. I want to see so you this want to zombie cat. If it were to attempt to, I would push it off before it got up. Are you sure you would manage? I'm fairly sure. Unless it's going to like, you know, do a standing jump. Onto the table. Necro. No, no chance. Going to to I'm back. absolutely going to get like, what's that called? Like when you when you attack something mm -hmm. when it runs out of your range. Opportunity. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to smack it off the table. and I'm going to do that every single time it tries. It's going to so do you want to go again and jump up on the table? Yeah, because I think I'm going to be invincible. And then the zombie is going to be stupid enough I to continue to attack. Wait, what? The, the chains? <laughs> could they? Could the? Could the tables lower? Uh, basically, no, you don't see anything that would lower them. Okay. And you don't know what the state is with the chains up. So we don't know. Um, I think I should try and jump back up and see. <laughs> that would take your action surge and then using your action to dash. Mm -hmm. Well, we can put my alternative. Attack. Sup on. <laughs> Why would I do that? Sweet. <laughs> um, if, if you wanna, by all means. Okay, I'm going to use action search. <laughs> and I'm going to action cap. And I'm going to jump up on the table. That was TP14 again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. My plan. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, okay. As soon as you have managed to jump on that cable, you feel like the table start to buckle and crack. 
Well, there was a zombie on it, so I'm pretty sure if we can hold the zombie for what has been years, I might point out, then I'm pretty sure that I'm fine, so I don't expect any of that crap that the table's going to fall, DM. Yeah, but the, the, the zombie's old. He's all, he's all, you know, all of them won't decomposing. Yeah, they didn't expect you also got a bunch cat. of equipment as well. Yeah, you would want need those. You're a bit fed on the old doom cat. Yeah. You call that zombie fat? How dare. <laughs> he's been working out. <laughs> he has not. He hasn't moved in the past decade. I don't know that. He may have just been sitting on that table for decades. He might have just had his nap recently. He's just napping. You just woke him up. <laughs> what are you trying to say? That these zombies see. have been working I'd out. I'd have to roll the dice for a while the table snapped. No. It absolutely won't. I swear to God, I'll reach over and slap the DM. <laughs> that would be a action surge. That would be a grand cat surge. <laughs> it doesn't, but it does shake a bit. Oh. I expect it to. It's so you chains. consider maybe movement on this too much might not be a good idea. So I'd say you've got like one good attack on the table. No, I've got infinite attacks. <laughs> it has been there for a long time. Well. No, you would starve to death eventually. But well, yeah, but I'm just going to keep like stabbing the zombie <laughs> to prevent it from ever like you know like attacking just me. Just eat the zombie. There's probably some <laughs> good bits still left on it. I will show. All right, so that's you. Mm. Yeah, got you. I don't think he can do anything else. I mean, he could use his bonus bonus action to heal. Big boss man. Yeah. Who is next? It is a zombie number four. Not him. That one you just jumped on the table. Yep. He kind of knows he jumped up on that table. He's going to make an attempt to climb this table. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Attempts to the fumbles. Did I get an attack of opportunity? He didn't move out of your range. But he, he, he did! He tried to climb up and then he fell! That's outside of my range! I get an attack! Yeah! No. He yeah! Well, he didn't willingly move outside of your range. That's that's just falling as unwilling. Yeah. Your appetite can't control that, man. He didn't mean to. He was intending to get on that table. Yeah, so no Unless you can prove that he meant to fall off the table. <laughs> yeah, so no to fall on the table. <laughs> Which side are you on? The zombie side, obviously. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, the side <laughs> that sounds funny, huh? Being carnivorous. Yeah. Being. What do you call that? Being yeah. made. You're being. Yeah, so no attack of opportunity. <laughs> no. I'm not the end. Well, you're the one that knows stuff about Dungeons and Dragons as well. Well? No. Unfortunately, no one. Yet. Sadly, no. Okay, it is night time for some. Be number one. Hey, that's the one by me. Yeah, I mean, oh. no, no, it's the next big one. Good. Hey, hey, if we can talk about this. avoid all of his attacks and maybe get so, a slap him in the face. This little zombie is going to try and attack this little pump boot. 15. Just misses. Yes! Oh, I'm so good. It's dodge for the second action. Man, that's a weird sounding cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what vocal cords are all. Pop vocal cords. Yeah, you know, it's vocal cords. Next it's song is something oh, number two. Hey, that's the one by me. <laughs> hey, we could talk about this. No, unfortunately. You're a cat. I'm a cat. I'm alive. You're on alive. Technically. Okay, <laughs> we can talk this out. I guess the zombies movement speed also have one. Oh, we can talk you about this. Now we can attempt to attack. Ah, oh, from Danny. Come on, we can talk about this. We're fine. Right? 15. Also. Mm. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have horrible balls, but never be hurt. <laughs> this is so. This is going it's to like a, an aura of bad luck. <laughs> no. It affects you, but it also affects your opponents. <laughs> you can't hit anything, but they can't hit you either. <laughs> He's got like a yeah. wave of an area of effect. <laughs> <laughs> it's now the turn of zombie food. Yeah, I think it's that one. Mm. It turns to face Barnabas. It says they go for a whip against Barnabas right. in year 17. Correct. I knew you're young. That's his way of life. That's what I thought. <laughs> None of those. Him. No, it's time for my incredible training in dance. Face with Druid. Yay, it's my turn. <sighs> What do I do? Should I try to get on the you bed? 
What? Uh, the thing is, like, if you jump up on one of the tables and then you just start using your whip, then you feel like you've got access to everyone. That's technically true. That's technically true, but I'm going to have to take two opportunity attacks to just get them. You use your action to and dodge and then take the opportunity okay. attacks because it would give them disadvantage. Or just disengage and not take them all. Or you could disengage, that's true, actually. That makes more sense. <laughs> that, makes you more, you could do that. <laughs> that makes completely more sense. So I can do that once. So. Hmm. And then I'm going to have to have two zombies trying to get me down from this bed. <laughs> yeah, but you'll be flipping them. But I'll have to wait an entire ton. <laughs> If you could, like, lure them over by me, I could try and take two at once because I've got the higher AC. Then you Rather just... than <laughs> you taking two at once, it makes more sense. Then just... Just walk towards the one that's already there. Yeah, but I've got to, like, get him to come to me. Yeah. Just ask him kindly to come over here. You've got something to show him. You've got friends. You've got you've got friends. You can use friends. You're right. I could use friends and immediately like cancel it so you become hostile. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's technically so possible. Technically possible. Uh, Trump person will not work here. Definitely <laughs> not. Well, a well. What do you mean well? Trump person works on creatures not undead. Ah, oh, true. Anyway, uh, could you spider climb this? Climb on the ceiling. Just climb on the wall. It's like screw these beds. I'm gonna just hang on the ceiling. I'll just four v one them. Honestly, I might actually do that. Just cast spider climb. You gonna go for it? If I can find it, make sure I know what it does because it's not there. It's quite weird. Does he have spider climb? Yes, I have that. That's a spell. Uh, first level spell. Cool. It's first one. Second level, excuse me. One second level. <laughs> uh, Why is it not there? Uh, Takes an action, concentration up to an hour. Until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch gains the ability to move up, down, and across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings while leaving its hands free. It also gains a climbing speed equal to its walking speed. I'm going to just walk up walls. Yes, yeah, so you can do it to yourself. You can. I, yeah. I can touch myself. You can touch your so you're okay. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, I guess I'll take that then, honestly. You're going to go for it? Yeah, so I'm going up. Walk to the wall first, so I don't lose concentration instantly. Okay, remember your movement speed's half. Yes, I should be able to make them to the wall. So five, ten. But now I've fought for the price of opportunity. So yeah, well, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So we'll go for this one first. Not got fifteen. No, hit a dice. First one you know. Second zombie. Sixteen. It hurts for the first time. I might die. <laughs> <laughs> I might die. You're like 20 damage. 20 or 7 damage. I would have to 17. That's one of my three 17. I then cast Spider Climb on myself. I'm now able to, again, a climbing speed equal to my walking speed. So okay. I just start climbing up to the ceiling. <laughs> Walk up the wall 5 feet. Mm -hmm. And I used to know, how, how tall is this room? Hmm, that's a bit of it doesn't actually tell you. Can we see the ceiling? Let's just look. Right. We'll just say the height of this chamber is 30 feet. Sure. So I'll just use the no, no, 20 feet. So I still have, and maybe it's still reach them. Uh, you've got 20 feet because now you're on the wall. Well, yeah, so, yeah. Just yeah. Like some action figures. <laughs> <laughs> He's climbing the wall! <laughs> you said that uh, while you're on the ground, your movement speed's half, right? Yeah, so if you disengage first, so his first part of the movement would be half. So say maybe. Uh, Okay, <laughs> so he's, he's moved 10 feet, obvious 15. Yep. So, so then, to, to gauge the wall, you'd gauge two and a half feet. 
10 on the five foot because it's half. Yeah. But I'm so gaining a climbing speed, so it's not this. I'll do it. Hmm. You would have 15, you would be able to move up 15 feet. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm so you're 15 feet, 15 feet in the air. Yeah, 15 on feet on the wall. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to sleep up here, guys. You handle this. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> start spinning a web way. just like. That's very weird. It's a good like, place you're here. So we're yeah. And we'll do that. 15 feet. Oh, oh, I was using that dice. How are you? I'm going to use a different one. Can you believe that's my dog's action? Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's Beginning round two. Barnabas. Tis I. Um, There's a table right there. No. Never. <laughs> I'm going to fight these zombies, goddammit. Um, am I going to fight these zombies? Run to the door. Oh, I'm going to run to the you door. You feel that she's off as a pound of feet all on it. Yeah, you're right. However, that doesn't mean I personally have to slay the undead. You're the only paladin here. That's true. But. I have another awesome idea, guys. <laughs> no, you can't have any grenades. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was my last one. I oh. made grenades. Alright. I'm gonna move away, which will trigger an opportunity attack. Why didn't you disengage? Because I'm gonna attack. 17, should I see? No. And also, this is never gonna happen. And. Oh, wait, saw me on before. No, not a saw me on before. Suck the zombie. I'm thinking of dodging. Because they're all going to converge on me. That's uh, true, they can't get me. Which means start... you can continuously thorn whip them. Get he can attack here. this zombie. Oh my and God, I can I just can... dodge and tank everything. And I can also pull the dead for your way. Which is not going to help me. What? I was thinking about landing the table on the zombie. That's fine, I'm out of range of that. Because, so. I mean, like it's on chains. So like I can swing it and then just like cut the chains. And then land the table on zombie. Right then, Barnabas, what's your second? Then we'd be prone, and then he'd be stuck, and I'd be on top of it, and then I'd get like double attack on it. I'm gonna dodge. Okay. Sonia, it's now your turn. What do you think? Should I like should I throw a table at a zombie? <laughs> is this eight feet in the air? Is the zombie directly underneath? The well, I can swing it's it forward. It's attempted to move up to climb up and feel it, then feel back down. Yeah. So like. Right, if you've ever played... So you'd have to time this. You'd have to like swing forward. If you've ever played um, Sonia. Another World, you like you swing in the cage and the little aliens are like, Zakinia, Zakinia, Atena, Zakinia. And then, you know, like the cage breaks and then you and the other alien like land on the zombie, on, on the alien. And then you pick up the gun and that's where you get your gun at the start of... Uh, Okay, so on your side, your turn, make a DC 14 dexterity check. Oh. Ball. 20. Perfect. It's even better. What was you going to do because of the opposite of that? You the chains are even stronger than they were before. <laughs> That's bad. They've you been empowered. To... But you want the table to fall. That was your whole plan. I don't know. <laughs> We're making sure you're still going to steal on this table itself. Just wrap the zombie by its head, pick up and just fuck it. <laughs> just just, just grab the zombie. <laughs> That would require a hell of a lot. Attack. No. Um, should, I, should I stab down at the zombie or should I throw the table at the zombie? I feel like throwing the table at the zombie would deal a lot more damage. It might also take longer because you would have to cut the chain. What? No, the, he was just saying about how weak the chains were. That's because he was calling you fat. But <laughs> how dare. <laughs> That's when you jumped into a nice baby old cane. You could just stab it in the head. Just, just attack it from up here without doing anything. Mm. Yeah. Because from where I am, it can't really move away either. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, I'm eight feet in the air, so if it tries to jump up the table, you get um, options of attack. I do. That is, <laughs> that's awesome. It is using its. It would be trying to move away. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just attack the zombie. Stab. Stab yeah. downwards. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Stab down. Stab down at zombie. Yeah. It's a 10. Uh, plus. Yep. 14. Yeah, so it has. And it's a D8 plus 6. Yes. 7 plus 6. 13. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry. We're doing it. We're doing the things. Somebody's done also made that, but still up. Hmm. 
Right, you've got a second action still. Um, do I do that? I could call to you. You can. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was properly famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sleeping big quiet over there. <laughs> oh hi, oh go say Matsu. Nah. Nah, alright. Nah, go take your German somewhere else. You're gonna curl up in the fetal position and let them all attack me while you guys slowly only Gashimatsu. <laughs> you guys are gonna slowly whittle them down. Um okay, I don't think I'm much doing there, so I'm quite happy up here. You used your action search, didn't you? Uh, it's already done, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't think there is much else you could do. Yeah, I mean, I can move. Off the table? I could move with the table. You could fly. <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, like, I could just, like, like, I'm pretty sure that if I just, like, rotate the table to go ching, and then, like, land on the zombie. You could attempt to, though. I mean, it would work but i mean is it worth it i mean at this point i've already stabbed the zombie in the head so like it won't take that much more to kill it mm-hmm. and it's definitely going to jump after me it's not going to turn around and like notice you because i'm the one that attacked it so it means it's definitely going to try and jump after me which means you're going to get opportunity to attack which means you're going to kill it i would not get an opportunity to attack unless it moved around for some reason no it has to jump up in five oh, feet onto the table yeah Oh, because it can't, it can't hit me from where well, it is. On, oh, I thought you meant like after you drop the table on it. Oh no, no, no. Are you going to try and swing the table then? Yeah, uh, I think we could. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, table. I should attempt to swing the table. I didn't swing the table. No, I said we're not going to swing the table. Yeah, we're not doing that. Oh, you know, not. <laughs> so what's happening? Close one. Wearing my GM fun. <laughs> Uh, I believe that's the end of uh, Sunday's campaign. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's time for Sunday 4. Guess what? That Sunday's going to try and climb. Is that the yeah. Yes! Yes! Do it! Do it now! Do it! Do it! I need to wait for it to succeed. Yeah. Right, don't! Just, he's already attempted it! No. Just fails to climb up the table. Well, he just right. fails. That means that he's still trying. He's, he's still... He's in the same space, though. Yeah, but he moved upwards five feet. <laughs> and that is a different space. That means you get opportunity of attack. He didn't. Technically, he yeah. tried what do you, what do you to do he said square, but he's attempted doesn't. to climb up to the table and failed to climb, so he's telling me he hasn't moved from that space. He's attempted. So, what you're saying is, what he didn't even jump? He, he like, he just, just stood there. He tried to, he's going like that. <laughs> Messed. Well, that isn't exactly like close to jumping up on the table, is it? You can't jump five feet up. I know, he's Oh, yeah, yeah, but he needs to jump. Five feet to leave your range. Yeah, yeah. something that's poor skin is only. And if we want to get technical, your attack range is technically five feet. So technically, he's, he's but failed. also means up and diagonal. But the attack opportunity happens the moment they so attempt to leave your range. So he's failed, so but, but you're still, range. he's still technically in range of. Yeah. So he's failed, he's still lying prone, which ends his turn. Oh, great. Yeah. Awesome. So it's night time for Sunday yeah. 1. I don't know. Wait, no, you can't hit me. Well, you can. I can. With opportunity. With so, smite. <laughs> some of you I don't think smite is necessary. I've already dealt like create an operator in the grid. You notice the zombie. Zombies notice the grid. Oh no, like. Hmm, I can't get him. I don't carry that one more. I can't So we're going to try and go, yeah, come here. go towards Barnabas and attempt to attack Barnabas. I bet he is. 17 disadvantage. Wait, one. Disadvantage. And that, and that, that was my first one. Disadvantage. Twelve. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, well. Also, it's nice zombie too. Also, he's going to make you only burn this. Yeah. And it takes another attack. Disadvantage. <laughs> Six. Alright, sweet in this. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where are we going? It's a good thing that the first one was a six. I know. Druid? Uh, no, but it's zombie numero three. I think all the zombies get a turn before I do. <laughs> one, two. Hey, it's movement's half. Yeah. Does it have 30 moves next? Oh, yes. Yeah, I've only got 20, sorry. Okay. But I can still make an attack against Barnum. It sure can, but it's going to miss. 
Eighteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Just bad. Fuck. I told you. Ah, I guess. Behold their invincible strategy. <laughs> Now it's a time of our fun fun group. Yay! The spider group. Go get him. Well, I'm going to make a cocoon. No. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move. Just make some hammock. Get him to hammock and sleep. <laughs> well, you can move three spaces. You're 15 feet up on the wall, so you can go like one, two, three, and then like equip from there. I guess I'll start just dragging them back. So yeah, I'll move over. Three squads. Oh. 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 And then I'll use. On what? On. Does it matter? Um, this one's prone, but I don't think you can reach it. It's very prone. You're 15 feet in the air. So, that's fine. Yeah, no, you can still hit it. How does that work? If he's 15 feet in the air, you can just aim it down like that. He's uh, within 30 feet. Quickly, like someone do Pythagoras. <laughs> uh, still with, am I within six squares of it? That's the question yeah. here. Yes, you are. So I guess I'll go for that one. <laughs> I've got advantage because it's prone. But would it really? I do not. I'm a range. This mass for speed then, but it's movement speed to half. The movement speed of the clip? Yeah. What? What's the square root of 1125? Uh, 1125. <laughs> the square root of it is. You've got a count. Oh, I'm using that for hell. <laughs> why would we, why so we 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 Oh my god, what was this at 4? That was my final 4. No, it can be 24, uh, 1 dice. 13. Mm. No, 17. 17. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah 17. Uh, 11. 11 plus 4, 15. Yeah. <laughs> so you have five round. I six. One. Yes. So that was against zombie number. This one? No, the oh, one beside. Yes, yeah, that. Okay. And I will move it 10 feet back to so me. So that's only one, two, one damage? Oh, I move it 10 feet into the air. No. <laughs> Just move 10 feet up and fall straight down. No. Start back. doing fall damage. That is the thing. Every 10 feet you fall, you that's get 26. That's that round too. Back to Barnabas. Dodge. Dodge again. <laughs> This is so annoying because, like, I can't cast friends in one of them. I was, no, I was <laughs> thinking of moving, like, out of range of that guy you pulled back, but I can't do that without taking another opportunity attack. Oh, just... No, I see all the things you want to <laughs> Although, I could. Alright, I've got two choices. I could either dodge and move back, take the opportunity attacks, and get out of range of that dude, or I could attack the guy who's prone. Hmm. Potentially just smite him out of existence. <laughs> He's almost dead then. No, I don't think you need smite. I think just attack is like, sufficient. How much have we done to him? Uh, Eleven. It, it was seven plus six, wasn't it? Hmm. Was it thirteen? Thirteen. Uh, like, in that case, it, mm. no, you done eleven damage to him last time. Okay, was it eleven? Was it five plus six? Yeah. A smite would be necessary though. Um, I know it depends because I kind of have to crit to make it worth it. You can still make the attack because you can make a spike before after you've made your attack roll. So you can I'm not bad at this. Do you fear death? <laughs> not really, if you have. I think I should um, just like throw the table at this zombie. This prone. I think that would be the funniest thing. You're up next, right? Yeah. Okay. Well... I... Like, that's a good strategy, right? I... Um, I'm thinking about something. It should work. <laughs> In theory. If it fails, the worst that'll happen is your legs break. That definitely is not going to happen. I'm a fighter and a cat. Like, 
I get advantage on jumping off of things. Okay, your front legs. No, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. That makes even less sense. I'm on my hind legs. Look at me. I barely only sit on three. Fine. The other one's holding the sword. All your legs. No, <laughs> actually none. Oh, okay, you're back then. No. <laughs> oh, then, um... Do you have the concept of how a cat works? Uh, I believe they just exist. <laughs> well, they do more than That's that. That's how dogs work. They just exist. They're just that. Uh... If it was a dog jumping off a table, then maybe, yeah. No, they land on their back. They're, they're back with death with great. If you're not seeing a dog, they just start turning instantly. In, in mid-air. In mid-air. <laughs> just the exact opposite of a cat that lands on its feet. It's like dogs will just aim to okay, land. Okay, Mr. Barnes. Yeah, I'm thinking. Hmm. What are you for over there? I'm not tailing you. He's trying to suck you out. Don't listen to him. He is. He's lying. Um, okay, not two can play that game. No, it's dead. I think I'm gonna move up that way and try and take on that zombie. Because if you want to drop the table on that guy, that will probably incapacitate him. Well, I mean, he's already prone, so. Yeah, and then you yeah. just crush him with the table. Yeah. So. And then I can use my second action to attack the zombie. It will get me out of range of that dude on the far side of the room. Or if the zombie's still alive, I can just stab through two. Exactly. It's a genius plan. Yeah. Yeah. Technically. It's technically. Technically it sounds like a good plan. Um, Until your legs break. The legs will not break our cat. And not only my cat, my fighter. I have finesse. Right. Like, I'm literally, gonna, this is the kind of thing that I do. I'm going to move out of range of that guy. Okay, so that's not that cool opportunity there. Miss. 15. 17. So. That's a shame if I move that. Well, that's fine. Uh, and I'm gonna take some of this zombie. What? Strong. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I'm gonna go to your sword. I guess it's Sonya's stuff. Ah, my goodness. Should I do it? Should I throw a table at it? Well, that was that the, was the table reason I did that, so. Okay. Well, let's do it then. Start off your turn. You've been standing this table now for two full turns. The table. Buckles under your weight and snaps in half. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> I did warn boss man that this was going to happen. <laughs> Face. <laughs> oh, I saw! <laughs> Alright. Make uh, a DC. We'll call it 14 dex save, so tell you how you land. Uh, I'm a cat, so that should be way lower. I say DC 14 more. Also, like, I was planning to. How is this happening at the start of my turn when I'm about to do something? Explain that to me, boss man. Also, like, I didn't have to roll a dex check or anything. Because I say it's not GM. It's <laughs> GMV! Mm. Don't worry, next time you're DM, you can do this to him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, except for the floor. I am GM, I am God of this world. Temporary. Uh, 12, so 13. Was that just dex or acrobatics? Well, I guess it should be acrobatics. Yeah. No, well, that's plus two. So it's 15. Or oh, 15, yeah. yeah. Plus two. Yeah, you, you, you managed to see a foot on the ground. You're no longer on the table. Stop him. Well, there, there, goes, there goes the, um, the throwing a table idea at it. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I thought the cool thing would have been to do. So I guess I'm going to attack the prone zombie. The table's broken there. Yeah. Yeah, so. On um, are you staying there, or is there a better space? I don't know. I mean, like, we do you think so? Like the first end. Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. So I get advantage, right? Yes, you do. Mm, Twenty. Crit. Oh, no. crit. Oh, crit. So <laughs> that means I roll four d twenties, and that's my damage. Crit. Two. Two d eight plus six. Two d eight plus six. So 2d8 yes. plus 6. So that is 3 plus 6, which is 9, 9 plus 6, which is 50. Mm -hmm. Zombie is pulverized. Wow. That 
Well, uh, and some you, zombie. you basically spoiled. dropped the table on it. I know, but I wanted to do it in the cool way. Man, you, you are You could bad. say that the table you broke, just and then instead of falling, you just perfectly adapted and dropped the elbow on him and immediately killed him. Mm. Oh, but I wanted to do the another world. I speed run that game. I know, but well, someone's legs <laughs> dead work in the end. If you want, I just <laughs> if you want, I can speed run it for you. I would like to see like the full completion of the game just now, mid video. Uh, no, I mean later on. All right, let's on. Okay, so I've got moving. Uh, do I want to? Well, should we just like start walking this way? I'll just and just up I mean, drop the other table. On. <laughs> no, I'm I'm thinking we can out we can outrun these zombies because we move three spaces, they only move two, and um, big dog can just well yeah, just keep whipping whipping them. It's like you know we we'll just like walk around the outside, <laughs> just go on a nice casual walk, around, yeah. just whipping them. So how long does Spider claim last? Uh, An hour. It should have last a while. An hour, which is ten minutes. Oh my god! We're on the line. No, it's not. So that's, that's... I'm just going to move over here. Then. Um, yeah, yeah sure. No, and I was the better moves. Mm. I mean, I can't attack it. Yeah, so. yeah, and then on the next move, I'll like move forward and attack something. If you want. Uh, yeah, no, don't see any reason why not. Yeah, so You're one, thinking. two, and three. You're thinking of a minute. It's ten minutes. Oh, so I am at six seconds. Why is that going to be? So the zombies one time? One. So it's actually Two. Yeah. Kind of a little longer. longer. Yeah. That's so zombie one time? Six hundred. Six hundred. Six hundred. Zombie one time. Tom's trying to face Barnabas and attempts to take a swipe at the door. Barnabas. Ten. Ten. You did not. What's wrong with you doing that? But unfortunately, his good friend, zombie number three, of Not him. <laughs> I'm trying to swing at one of us. I'm going to be. What? Why did you climb on my dick? <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Did not. Oh. One of us strong. Well, it's time for our druid friend. Yay. Let's go for the one that's... What? Wait, wait. Should, should you move first? Just keep moving back and forward on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to find that good spot. It's like, is this a good spot to make a cocoon? Or is this a good spot? I'll just stay where I am. This table looks nice. Where is this zombie? Okay, let's see. Where's my face? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, see so so on, what? Stay, see where you are. Where do you want to go and which zombie do you want to attack? Because it does matter because mm-hmm. you can pull them. I'm going to go for the one that is on that that one yeah that guy that one can't Should get. Should not make more sense to pull one of these ones. Wait, can you pull this one into this one? Does that do damage? No. No. Yeah. But that one is only moved ten feet closer, and it needs another five to get to you. So if I move it back, it's going to be fifteen feet away. But it will be able to reach me on its next turn, and I can't get away with it. I get away from it without provoking an opportunity attack. I won't be able to move both of them. So you want to take any opportunity to attack even if I do move one? I don't know, no. Because if you move this guy, I can side order him that way. Yeah, so this one? Yeah, move him. Uh, no, that one. Because if he pulls it back to here, I can move in this space without taking an opportunity. Oh, uh, uh, see. You want me to do that? I think that makes more sense. Alright, I'll go for that cat then. Zombie. This one? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, 16. So that's uh, 20. 20. Ooh, 20. I'm ten feet back towards me. Okay. Other one else. No. One, two, two. Yeah, that was zombie one. Let's do four damage. Yeah, ring four. One of us. Dodge. So <laughs> there are two options. You do have twenty six health. I do. Um, there are two options. So number one, I could just attack this zombie. Mm-hmm. I could also shove it so that you get advantage. Oh. You've got improved critical. Yeah. Um, or I could use the help action, which gives you advantage. Uh, Wait, so both of them just give me... Yeah, but I would need to be adjacent to you to do help. Well, you are. Uh, I was thinking about manoeuvring over here so that these zombies run into me first, so that you can just wail on the guy. Uh, well, remember I can move as well, so 
Um, because it's you, then me. Mm-hmm. Well, there's no zombies, if that's everything. Else. So, I mean, like, you can do whatever and then move here or move wherever. Um, like, how do you want to do this? Um, I. Dodge is another option again. I could just tank everything. Um, uh, have we hit this zombie? Uh, that one. I don't think so. One, two. I think these two have been hit because they were both put Yeah, back. you have. Oh, we have? Oh. Yeah. Mm. That's the one you put uh, That's start. the one I had to go for one with. Oh, that's okay. Right, right. Um, maybe we could just attack it. Just do two attacks on it. Yeah, like we both attack it. Yeah. Um, so there are three options to attack it. Either we can both attack it, I can trip it, and then you can attack it, or you can trip it, and then I can attack it. Yeah. Uh, well, the following turn, and it would get yeah, turned yeah, 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 It would get back up again. Um, alternatively, in that case, you would have to use the help action rather than trip it. Um, to get that to work. But well, I mean, if if it's me helping you, that means we wait a turn before anything happens. Whereas if you help me, then it happens this turn. Mm-hmm. And if it clears a zombie, then that means that it's a less attack. It's only taking like four or five damage, I think. Mm. Well, if it's prone, doesn't it have to like waste its attack action to stand up? It uh, wastes half of its movement. Okay, so it doesn't do it. So it still just gets up and then just acts. Mm. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking about just dodging. And then, you know, focus firing on me, and then you just wail on the guy. Well, if you move here, this one can't do anything. This one's going to move too, and he can attack either of us. Um, and not unless I move, you move here, and then I move to here. Then neither of these two zombies can attack either of us. And then yeah. it's only this one. This guy could move 5, 10. Oh, okay. Right. We can move five. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's, that's annoying. Dodge. Uh, dodge and move away. Into the center. Hmm. And then you just want me to sit here and attack this from behind? Yeah, because ideally your attack would bring it low enough to where on the following turn we could double attack it and take it out. Hmm. But also if, like, you're just allowing this zombie to attack, um, whereas if you move here, this zombie can't do anything. You know, like, this one like moves forward to and like these two zombies get to attack, but like this one doesn't do anything. That would allow it to attack you though, uh, this zombie here. Mm-hmm. Is that fine? Um, well, I'm at 20 health, you're at 26 health, mm-hmm. so I think we're okay. I mean, what do you think? If you're fine with potentially taking an attack, then yeah, we could prevent that zombie from attacking. So, it's either we each take an attack or I take three. I think it makes more sense for both of us to take the attack then. Okay. But then, so. Are you going to use dodge or are you going to like just attack? I would just attack in that case. Yeah, okay, so you move into here and then yeah. attack him? I'll do that. Yeah, okay, so. And I'll attack the zombie directly in front. Mm-hmm. 10, 10 and 15. Yep. 10. 5. 10. 10 damage. Oh, against zombie 3. What one about Freddy on Freddy, but he's still on the fight. Yeah, he's almost done. Okay, so uh, I'll attack the same zombie then. Yep. Oh, there's only two. Doesn't do anything. Six. Six. You just miss. So, uh, he wobbled out of the way. Where am I moving to? It doesn't matter where I move to because this is still where we reach, right? I don't think you'd do a move because I if just you were to move anywhere, it would, uh, you would take an attack opportunity. No, I mean, I can move here, and I'm, I'm still within the range of this. You could, but I don't think that would change anything. No, it doesn't. Okay. I think you're fine where you are. Do you want to do anything else? Yeah, I think you could. Okay. Well, uh, 
That's it then. Yeah. Somebody once turned a knife button here, somebody once. <laughs> it's you, it's you anyway. One, two, can't. That's, that's the one that's lost four health. Yeah, because you just attacked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is the one that's lost four health zombie one? Yeah. Okay, that's zombie one then. And zombies two come. Well, the zombies should be able to dash. They can, yeah. But they wouldn't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're only going to get close to attack on Sonya. Oh. AC 14. 22. Oh, yes. Yeah. 66 plus 1 bludgeon. 2. Oh, because we're at 18. Yes. Come on. Then it's time for our good friend, Zombie 3. The day so hit that yummy, yummy Barnabas. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Box of rocks, one of them. The rocks of GM. <laughs> just like random just rocks just appear in thin air and bonk. There's <laughs> another yeah. guy, Spider, climbing who throws rocks at you. Yeah, Spider, my Spider, my Spider, my Spider. Weird Spider on the wall, get down. Then throws Rocky, hi, that's my stick. I ah. feel my spot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, yeah, I'll just farm up the number one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, throw him yeah. back again, yeah. Yeah, just keep him away. Oh, no. oh, it's gone. Ah, killed it. Natural one, congrats! Yay! That's a two. Close enough. That's a 16. Ugh, try it again. That's the Ugh, it's pure so long, Two. Oh, two. Get over here, using these hooks. Right. You are paper cutting the zombie <laughs> dead. One of us. I'll get it eventually. Um, I guess we just focus fire on that zombie we've already attacked. Yep. So, oh, zombie. so another, four, another 596 tons until the spider finds. Yeah, I don't think it's worth like tripping or anything. Yeah, just, just, just close enough to kill, yeah. so. But oh. that was Teddy. 14. Yes. Okay. And then 10. 10. Whoa, 10. 15. Ugh, pure zombie 3. Fantastic. He was too young to leave this world. Yes! He was a zombie. He was probably a little older. Um, so, should I go for this one? Or. Do you um, want to make the long trek over to me? I well, I mean, right, so this one it can move two or it can dash for 15, but then we'll be able to do anything else. Mm -hmm. So, we're just focusing on this. That makes sense. Um, do I move? Is it even worthwhile? Uh, I mean, what you could do is you can move over this way so that. If it yeah, approaches, we can split and go okay. that way. So go right. Okay, so move there and then attack. Sure. And into this guy. Yep. And with the rapier. Stop. Five plus nine. nine. So uh, four. Yep. So it's nine. Yep. Woo! You just managed to catch. So it's a D eight or six. They seem to have eight. Four zombies. Oh, one. So it's seven. Poor zombie two is taking his first damage of the game. Yes. Uh, but well, roughly enough, it's time for zombie one. That's not my. That's not my child. That's that child. That's the spider above you. <laughs> it's not in the back way violently. Her brain. It's like a rattlesnake. <laughs> zombie two, two notices that Sonya has taken a big spin on you. Did it? So he's going to try and spin back. Be more where you could have noticed. Nah. Be a thing. Yeah! That's a real thing. Yeah. That. <laughs> That's why so we're too big. And then it goes back to the bottom. Wait, wait, is it not rude? Do it, yeah. You keep forgetting you're there because he keeps hanging up on this wall. <laughs> Gidrid, what are you doing? Could I continue uh, to paper cut them? <laughs> yeah, let's continue to paper cut. 
You just throw a game of paper and I don't play Yeah. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, well, we're here. Come oh, on. <laughs> Go on, friendo. I love us not even trying to turn around and, like, you know what? I'll okay, stop fine, playing the uh, walls. Let's go play the walls. Well, I'm I could try. Uh, I'm, I'm right sure. beside the bed, so. Oh, God oh. damn it, I keep doing that. It's 19. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, 24. It's unfortunate you didn't do that. I know, that'd be nice. So, so, that is her. Zombie 2 is hanging on. Oh, oh no, for much longer. Do you want to move or is this me? I think you're good. I'm going to decapitate the zombie. Oh, you want to try and decapitate the zombie? Mm -hmm. Nah, what? Go on, nah, do the thing. Nah, finish him. Nah, 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 I'll go for the sub zero head rip fatality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With the spine. <laughs> it was meant to be. Eight plus uh, six. It's 14. <laughs> Bro is dead. I've got guys. <laughs> <spine. laughs> it's time for zombie one to go. Trud. <laughs> <laughs> Since so, we're doing the Mortal Kombat stuff here, don't pull them back. Don't pull back? Yeah, because then that will put us out of range. Oh! Okay. He's move, he's, you can move towards him. You've yeah. got enough movement. No, no, space. wait. Move him back because he'll run towards us. Because that's what he's done every time when he's a zombie and he'll just keep doing it. So we just sit here, go to sleep, and he'll just no, no, keep throwing like, back in. No, he's so. just moved back to it and then. Is, uh... Oh, no, wait. No. It's us next, isn't it's it? It's us next. Oh, okay. You could just skip a ton. We could Let's do nothing. We could just go to bed and let him throw another good thing. Okay, so I'm going to use Fireball on this last one. Pack <laughs> choice, isn't it? Yeah, might as well. Go close enough. What's that red thing up on the wall? Go on, Rock. Yep. 16. Yeah. 20. Okay. How many times have you rolled a 16? Mm. 3. <laughs> hey, are you moving or not? Do you want me to move it? I don't know. Do we? You can. Uh, so I'll you make you waste energy to walk towards it and get over here. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Barnabas. Um, <laughs> he's moved Jerry over your No, he has not. I can move up to him. I will move him one foot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, okay. can, you can. You can literally like get like exactly up to him. So can I. Thanks. Um, you know what? Hey, I'm dealing with this one. You you start oh, I've been slowly dealing with him. Alright, uh, I'll shove it. You're gonna prone him? I'm gonna prone him. Okay. He's gonna try. So athletics. Is it strength? It's strength. Yeah, so yeah. it's an athletics check. Twenty. Yeah. You have you have pushed it so hard it's an it crumbles to death. I've pushed its heart out through its chest. It's an imposed <laughs> athletics, so you roll it as well and can pick uh, 25, okay. can you do that? Uh, so a threat it comes under dexterity. Strength. Strength. Oh, what's one? Uh, you can't do that. No, let me move against it. It's mathematically impossible. Uh, no, 15. No, I'm pretty sure I got that one. Oh, well, I guess she's... Push and prone. I just bully him this zombie at this point. Is it can me? Steal his life. Yeah, no, it's me again. Yeah, no, it's me! No, no it's you. I don't believe you. One, two, three. Uh -huh. I'm going to do Scorpion's Fatality this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take off but my I've mask and reveal my skull oppercut. and breathe fire all over it. Shouldn't I do that? I've been doing Scorpion's. Get over here the entire time. Why can't I be Scorpion? Yeah, yeah, Sonia can't do that. Can I cook the grab it? What? Yeah, why not? Yeah? yeah. It's prone. How much, like, is it, is it, like, almost dead? If he tapped it, would it die? You never know. Because well, could we get out to roll to hit? I just do it? Well, it needs to be, like, completely incapacitated for that, like, either you, asleep you, or... What, you 20 to it? I did, this true. Like, how how good of a push was that? Do you have... Do you, you, just, like, you have his mask and just attack both because it is prone? Hmm? You have advantage on the attack roll because it is prone. Okay, I'll just attack normally then. 
I'm going to stomp it. Crit. I'm going to stomp it with my sword. Double, double crit. Two I'm, going to, I'm going to stomp it with my rapier. Double that one. Yeah. Double stick it. Uh, there's a 7 and a 5. Oh. So, 11. Yeah. Uh, you hit. Oh, awesome. Um, yeah. uh, 2, so 8. Bye, bye, boss. Just like pogo. Yeah! <laughs> hey, that was mad, son. I was dealing with mad. Nah, I man. killed it. I got the experience. Ah, uh-uh, ah, don't. You did it. I, I, I got final hit. <laughs> we all got final hit. I think you did more damage than me. And <laughs> that's one attack that I've done over multiple rounds. Are you coming down from the wall now? Ah, uh, nah. I was like, like, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna see what's up here. Um, is this seal and seal? What about this orb? Do we just ignore that one as well? Well, I was uh, going to attempt to cut the cables before we got into that fight. Okay, you want to try that then? Sure. Okay. I would like to attempt to cut the cables. Uh, so I assume you need to go up to the cables. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait, so are the cables connected to it? Or do you mean like the cables like over here? The cables connected to it. What, like actually connected to the system itself? Are you sure yeah, you want to stand The uh, cables are plugged into the base of the wall. Are you sure you yep. want to be beside it? Absolutely. No, no fear. The small ones We're explode good. into the big ones going yeah, to be. Bro, you're up on the wall, what are you scared of? Come <laughs> right here. Uh, I'm all. Yeah. You've got to take the rock away, I'm not doing it like right now. I'm like <laughs> sawing <laughs> through it. Now you might try and cut this cable and make a DC 16 strength check. Oh, strength. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm good at this. Right. You, you, you successfully cut the cable, but it does nothing to the wall. Does nothing. At Ooh. all, or so, just nothing to the orb? Just nothing to the orb. Mm-hmm. So that means that the orb was the thing that was giving power to the things outside. Mm-hmm. Um, so maybe you should do you want another cable on the other side? Because probably one half of it is powering these two, and the other half of it is powering like, the other two on the other side. So they're using two giant cables to power six small orbs in the right. entrance. Yeah, because it like, That's what I'm like, yeah. right through them. There's like one pair side. So they're using one big orb to power the six small orbs, and that's the only reason for that orb. And they look cool. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, you realise looking at these cables, they're not connected to any of the orbs from the previous room. Right. Oh, just they're connected not. to basically the orb was connecting to the four tables through the cables. Oh, so that was just what was giving light to those zombies. Maybe that's how we would have dropped the table on them if I cut through the thing, and then we would have dropped like a tables drawbridge. drop after the cables cut. No. Yeah. No, right. the cable right to the orb, so no. Okay. Should we disconnect it to the other side, just in case? Uh, sure, I'll go for it. Might make a DC 16 sound check, yeah. Alright. I'll check it out. There's a 20. Oh, well, there's a 9. Alright, uh, mm-hmm. 17. You cut the cable, nothing happens to the orb. Okay, so, like, there's only two two cables that were connected to it, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is just by itself now, just yeah. one. Okay, I think it's no longer a threat, it's not connected to anything. I um, agree. It's connected to the floor. Yeah, that's true, but like, I don't want to like, toss it up in the air. Uh, I mean, like, let's toss it off. Do you, you, you want to use your whip and see if you can pull it off? It's immune to magic attacks. So it is. it is, yeah. That's weird. Why is it immune to magic attacks? You it hit it immune. then. No! It's almost like half. So, wait, I'll see what I do. From this. Probably. Um, is it. there anything else in the room of any note? There's a the door. the door. So, leave it. Yep. Uh, wait, wait, can I, can I roll a check to. Check the room of what we can, what is visible. I think there's just straight up nothing in the room, like we know for a fact. Yeah. You know, there's nothing special. Well, or... Yeah, let's use a perception check. Yeah. You. No, no, no! You know what? I'm seventeen. <laughs> oh, I've absolutely seen everything in the room. That <laughs> was. So that was an eighteen. <laughs> got better. I don't know if anything. So there's nothing of interest. Well, presumably if I got an 18, there's nothing important. Do I have a plus 21? 21, yeah. So I got a 21, and there's nothing important. I don't think there's anything of important. I think we're good to leave. Right. Okay. Is that going with or are you staying on the wall? <laughs> I mean, oh, fuck. Is the floor still cold? Yeah, it is. It's also cold up on the wall as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to stay on the wall and walk out on the wall and go like... And then walk down. Like, under the doorframe. Under the doorframe yeah. and go up the other side like that. Uh, I'm assuming you still need to open the door. Yeah, oh, okay. So well, you're, you're, you're now, you're now connected door. to the door. I'm going to be on the ceiling waiting for you to open the door. You're on standby. So who's on the door? I'll open that. Wait, wait. Uh, do I not have the... Is it acrobatics or is it dexterity or what? Just, we don't know if it's like. Who's going to open it? Okay, I'll, well, uh, I'll attempt. Do, do, you, do you want to inspect the door? Get okay, okay. Sure, I'll. Uh, does the door seem out of sorts? Um, 
is it obviously is the door is, the is, there, is there a cross pull pointing to the yeah, you don't really notice anything or the right door just looks like it's got an ordinary door this time and I'll attempt to open it yeah DC 10 so check that okay final uh, 14 12 yep oh is it not both five uh, the door opens three. you notice it's not being locked but the constant cold has led to the metal sticking on it mm. making it somewhat difficult to open it you managed to open it alright mm. Would you like to go out and open the door <laughs> yeah. See, you can do that and then you can scout out ahead of the Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm at the... Okay, so... Just start crawling. Like, nah. So does Big Dog need to roll anything to, nah. to walk under the door frame? Nah, he's, he's good. Okay. No, but I think what I'll be in front, so now you're number three, he's no longer a spider climbing. <laughs> I've still got it for an hour. I'm yeah, still a spider It seems to be everything we do, each of her just breaks up. Right, so no more wall climbing then. It's a second level spell, it's a part of what I have. I know. So um, I just go for the door and it just fall it just instantly <laughs> fall. What yeah. like there's a there's a field of like magical unability to climb. Anti magic. Yeah. No 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 a field just of an anti a field of anti climb. Anti spider yeah. climb. <laughs> I just I mean, <laughs> that has been fall. invented. So you just like walk through and just like fall. The necromancer is actually just really arachnophobic. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, I guess we the next one to walk through. And then. You do walk through it and so feel suffice of gravity. It's like chucking your suit back down to the floor. But I'm a, stuck yeah. to the wall. You hear a voice from, the, from above. Get the fuck off the walls. <laughs> but the wall. I wasn't on the wall, I was on the ceiling. So is that it for the scenario? Yeah, that's scenario two. I was on that wall. Okay, well that is it for scenario two, folks. If you want to see scenario three and scenario four, then make sure that you give us a like, share and subscribe. Let us know that you enjoy this content. Or if you don't enjoy the content, let us know that uh, you don't as well. Uh, It's always nice to hear your feedback. And also, if you enjoyed it, make sure to share with your friends. And if you hated it, share it with your enemies, because why should you be the only one to suffer? But that is going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed, and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.